we are just kind of meant to sit in a corner and look pretty. We're not supposed to sweat. It's all very, very unfeminine, apparently. What is a sport that women want? In her recent interview for The Telegraph, Sports Minister Helen Grant suggested women should opt for sports such as Zumba or ballet to feel feminine. Can the way we move be feminine or not? Today, we're showing you women lifting gender boundaries in exercise and adding female power to traditionally male training. What are the benefits and risks of it? Is the change really happening? Let's find out. Although, according to the minister, women may be put off by masculine exercise, female weightlifting is on the rise, with American College of Sports Medicine listing strength training as one of the key trends for 2014. With its rising popularity, more and more women ditch Zamba classes for weight sections at the gym. Even fashion editors and designers are starting to share their weightlifting selfies. Sally Moss, founder of Ladies Who Lift, all-female weightlifting course, is one of the experts to notice a significant change in women's attitude towards weights. I've seen a massive rise in the population of weight training just in the last few years. People are thinking a little bit independently about their training and they're not willing just to follow whatever's in um, a women's magazine. Sally's mission is to fight with the stigma attached to female weightlifting educating women and showing them their way of empowering. Because I've been there and I've done it and I've experienced it. And the big issues were, um, first of all, just being the only woman in your environment and, and finding it quite intimidating and feeling very exposed. According to Sally, what keeps most women away from doing the training they want are their own insecurities and society's pressure. Everyone else is better than me. <laughs> Everyone else is progressing faster than me. <laughs> Surprisingly, the benefits of weightlift training are as mental as they are physical. I would say that actually the, the changes that I see from people's strength training are around 50% physical and 50% mental. So if you've just gone to the gym and picked a really heavy weight off the floor, you feel completely different when you walk out the end. Down the road with a spring in your step, you feel um, you feel strong, you feel independent. I've got confidence now to be able to say to all the big guys that think that they know better. But does this trend have a downside to it? Lifting weights without sufficient knowledge may lead to serious and body-changing injuries. There are definite health risks for women in weightlifting. So sometimes your bones may not be strong enough to support the strong muscles that you've developed. And you can get what are called stress fractures, which are painful and may even convert into full fractures. You can actually affect your hormones and you can end up with brittle bones much in the same way that someone with anorexia could. Over-exercising has not only physical but also mental repercussions. Lauren Versalio, founder of Stop the Inspiration Movement, tries to spread awareness of exercise addiction. The amount of exercise that's right for a single, for a certain person, could be very different than what would be kind of right for another person, because when we're talking about these issues like exercise addiction and you know having body image issues and stuff, it's all about kind of the the psychology behind it or what's going on in the person's head. So. If someone's exercising because they feel like they have to, because they think it's going to fix them, because they think it's going to fix their body and help them love themselves, almost any amount of exercise is going to be too much at that point because of the reasoning behind it. Knowing that, it is important to be aware of the way you train. You actually get more out of an exercise if you do it better and if you train smarter and if you're on the right program than if you simply just take something you've read and just do as much as possible of it. And try to lift one of the last gender boundaries. I really feel we're in a moment with women in fitness at the moment that's just started something really interesting. There's a lot of conversations happening now that should have been happening a long time ago. And I think it's really, I think a lot of us have realized actually, we just have to be the change that we want to see. Although on balance, most women won't have physical strength of men, in terms of the type of exercise they do, there's really no limitations. Should women do only feminine workouts? We will lift. If we want to. 
Thank you.